goes you know to like presentational and representational mm. stuff but um, for me I um, I try to be as ex instinctive as possible with everything uh, in life and uh, that reflects in my professional work um, so I just kind of say things out loud and really listen and be present with the people I'm on stage with and that way I feel like I'm playing just an honest version of me as the character uh, rather than trying to say oh Rosencrantz you know he probably does something crazy with his hand at all times you know <laughs> that would be like more presentation where like putting on like these idiosyncrasies you know but From, well, I mean, there, there is a definite idiom that the, the grave digger, for instance, is written in. Uh, and I could easily go in that kind of direction <laughs> because it's what we do. <laughs> but uh, you also want to be true to the world that you're playing in and the other 11 people that you're cast in are playing in. Uh, and so it's, it's a process during rehearsal of trying to find out what will work best, where the voice will go. Denise at one point uh, had both uh, Lauren and I try Southern, and it works. It didn't work with this particular set of people though. Uh, so we've kind of got him, kind of got him going in this kind of direction, not nearly as, as total New York Italian kind of guy, but he's, he's kind of in that, he's in that range. But it's different from the higher, the, the the people that are higher up. He's definitely, you can tell, because of the way he speaks and the way it's pitched, and even using some of the, uh, the, the things that Shakespeare wrote, his way of, 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 of printing it, we still use that kind of uh, effect for the voice, but he's definitely his own character. And I think, I'm hoping that it fits within the world we've got. I agree with all of them. Um, I was just gonna add on to that. Uh... As far as no matter what choices the actor makes or the direction the director gives you, the script is so brilliantly written that everything applies today. So that's what makes Hamlet, like I love Hamlet so much. It, I mean, everything that you can imagine um, like as Ophelia goes through, um, even men. I mean, these are situations, emotional abuse, physical abuse, you know, going through hardships such as death. I mean, grieving a loss of a lover. It's everything you can imagine. Um, it, it'll come across just with the words so yeah and that's I mean it's something too when you have a really fine script it's really just a great blueprint you don't have to do a lot <laughs> except be a ghost <laughs>